We heard a couple weeks ago that uh, there was talk of a referendum vote with the city of Oakland for the public to actually make the decision on Howard Terminal. And last check, maybe that would be even brought up tomorrow. Can you give us any update on the, on the referendum vote and, and your thoughts on it? I have not heard anyone taking that idea seriously, except the press enjoys talking about it. <laughs> um, I am not aware of any other council member besides the one who thinks that's a good idea. So I don't really think it's going to happen. I think it's a terrible idea. I think it is the council's responsibility to do the analysis. They are paid a full-time salary to represent the city, to make hard decisions. They have professional staff. They have access to experts. Uh, this is a very complicated project. And <laughs> there are no existing Oakland tax dollars going into this project. This, as it's proposed right now, all of the tax dollars would only be those generated by the project itself and only if the project happens. And even those tax dollars are only uh, available for public infrastructure and community benefits. Now, we've been very successful, and this project has helped us win competitive grants at the state and federal level. But if those dollars hadn't come to Oakland, they would have gone to another community. So um, we are very committed to not repeating the mistakes of the past. I'm going to look over. We can't see Mount Davis from here. But uh, Oakland has learned some very hard lessons about bad sports deals. We're not going to rep repeat them. We are going to be absolutely responsible with the taxpayer's dollar. A couple things need to be hashed out, one of them being the community benefits agreement. By seeing you and Dave here today raising a flag together, I'm assuming that behind the scenes things are going well in that regard? Things are going very well uh, behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. Like There's nothing to hide. Um, the talks have been very collegial. We have a very shared vision about the types of benefits that our community values. Housing, affordable housing, union jobs, public access to parks on our beautiful waterfront, and protecting that port of Oakland. Uh, it's an amazing economic engine, not just for Oakland, but for this whole region, for the whole country. So we are all on the same page with regard to the vision for this project. And what we are doing now is just um, bedeviling the details and making that vision a reality. I know there's also the key thing of, of port designation being removed from the site. I know that's under consideration right now. Give me the layman's terms on if it's such a valuable area to use for literally parking trucks and that's it right now. Could there ever be another space in the port or terminal area that these trucks could go park elsewhere to free up this land. Could it ever be as simple as that? Absolutely. Um, trucks don't need to be parked on the waterfront. Okay. Yeah. You can park them anywhere. In fact, just look around us. Plenty of parking right here. So um, it really is not a hard problem to solve. I respect that BCDC has a charge of looking at all the cargo needs for the entire Bay region. Mm -hmm. And ancillary, uh, like port, Truck parking is not a big concern. The concern is a roll off, roll on cargo. Mm -hmm. But Howard Terminal cannot right. accommodate the new mega ships. Right. Well, the way it's located, the depth of that terminal, it's never going to be used for that kind of cargo. And, um, you know, we have gotten a lot of additional information to BCDC. Um, I suspect they will be putting out a more robust analysis of this question. Uh, as well as recognizing that this project does accommodate uh, a larger turning basin so that these big mega ships that are using the terminals that can accommodate them how now will have a place to turn around. Last but not least, uh, your next couple months are going to look a lot different once the office of mayor changes hands and there's going to be a whole mayoral race this summer leading up to the fall election. How does the process of a new mayor in the city of Oakland affect the Howard Terminal project, no matter where it stands, come fall? You know, I am very hopeful that the big vote, the one where we agree on what the terms of the development agreement are, will happen while I am still the mayor, which is through the end of this calendar term. Uh, we have three council members who are all running for mayor. Um, they, although, you know, they all voted on that term sheet. Right. They have so far uh, been asking good questions, doing a lot of due diligence, but to date they have all supported this project. So I think that bodes well.
well uh, for the Oakland A's for the Howard Terminal Project that all three of the top contenders to be the next mayor of Oakland are familiar with this project, have voted in favor of it to date. Thanks for your time and thanks for being out here for opening night. I love it. I love it. Go A's. All right. <laughs>